Let me to come to order. Uh, before we start, I wanted to notice to every, to every member that today is the first time the Committee of the House is holding an open public hearing on the matter. I've asked the Inspector General and the Under Secretary to appear today because it is imperative that the American people understand A, where our security system is going, B, how it's being used, C, and what protections are in place to ensure it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Since the beginning, the President has been overly worried, in my view, that giving Ukraine what it needs to win would be too escalatory. This hesitation has only prolonged the war and driven up the cost in terms of dollars and lives. Uh, this conflict must end, and the President must be willing to do what it takes to end it with victory. <clears throat> Continued reluctance and indecision only empowers Putin, and it sends the wrong message wrong signals to President Xi and the Chinese Communist Party. And even us in the U.S., we saw the war coming, we supported Ukraine, but even us, along with everybody else, thought the Ukrainians didn't stand a chance. We, we thought that the, the Russians would be in Kyiv in a week or two, a month at the most. So the fact that they've been as successful as they have been is the best evidence we have that these systems and support that we're sending them is being as well used as it possibly can. While we have constructive criticism of what's going on, let's make sure that that criticism is constructive and we maintain our unity. And I know it is very, very difficult um, for the folks on the other side of the aisle to say anything positive about the Biden administration. Uh, but part of holding this coalition together is to acknowledge the incredible job that has been done in the last year and to maintain that unity and to not jump at every shiny object that seems to be criticism of the Biden administration, like the F-16. Right now, and I've asked this question, we are getting every single weapon system that we can to Ukraine. There is not a decision being made about eh, that might be escalatory. It's about what can we get to them? How can we maintain the support? We've spent a lot of money. There is not a limitless amount of money or a limitless amount of equipment.